a best predictor of cardiovascular disease and the risk of heart attack is coronary artery calcium. It's something that can be seen on these dedicated chest CT scans, but it's quite rarely performed. About 50, 60,000 of those happen in the US annually. But what we found is that a lot of people have had a chest CT done for some other reason in the past. Chest CT scans are one of the most common volumetric imaging tests done all across the US. There is somewhere between 10 to 15 million of these scans performed per year in the US. We realized that we could save patients money and time and exposure to radiation if we just looked in their radiology folder to see if they've already had a chest CT scan. We can just pull up this chest CT that was done for some other reason six months ago, a year ago, and we can try to understand if that patient has coronary calcium. And when we saw coronary calcium, not only did we know that that patient was at increased risk, but it was also really powerful, showing people like, hey, you have this white chunk of calcium sitting in your heart artery, that's not normal. And we should do things to reduce your risk of you know, this leading to a heart attack. It's very impractical to go through 100,000 CT scans to see how much calcium there is. So that led to the development of an artificial intelligence algorithm to read the scans automatically in a very within seconds. We worked with computer science and radiology experts here at Stanford to develop a computer science algorithm, a deep learning algorithm that estimates the coronary calcium score from these chest CTs. They developed that algorithm, validated it across four other health systems, and then we did a trial showing that if we give that information to primary care clinicians and patients, it substantially impacts statin rates. We're taking these data sets that have been acquired already, building some deep learning algorithms to be able to extract that coronary calcium for that particular patient, and then triage them with the cardiology department or their primary care provider. We did a study of 173 individuals and found that 7% of patients in usual care start a statin compared with 51% of patients who we notified. So huge impact on decision-making about starting a statin. We want to be able to improve patient outcomes, but we also want to minimize utilization of the healthcare system. We don't want to add to costs. We don't want to add more burdens for the patient to have to come in for the screening test. I think that the long-term success is that every chest CT that happens in the United States, the coronary calcium is estimated and that information is presented back to patients and their clinicians in an actionable format. And that leads to more informed decision-making about cardiovascular prevention. We have an algorithm that works. We have a pilot study that shows that intervening with this algorithm can have efficacy. And now we're really trying to learn from both of these to really understand how do we scale this broadly? That's what excites me is the opportunity to help people live longer and healthier lives. Oh.